Good morning from Ubud. Right now we are on a ride to our next destination. We're gonna still be in Ubud, but we're gonna explore a different property. This time this one is called Chapumse and it is positioned in the middle of the jungle. So I just cannot wait to shoot it, but first let's roll the intro. Here we are at our villa. I'm really excited to show it to you guys because this is a beautiful example of how different culture and different kind of design can be combined together because as you will see the design is from kind of Scandinavian origin and it is combined you know with the view of Ubud with the palm trees and everything. So anyway let's put the camera on a gimbal, open the door and let's go. I came here to capture this beautiful restaurant that you can see behind me. I'm currently shooting with my main camera, Sony 7 Armor 2, with the 16 to 35, currently more or less at 20 millimeters. Uh, as usual, I'm using the polarizer because you know there are those tiny little ponds uh, in the rice fields next to me, and I want to enhance them because it's very beautiful to see the reflections. Actually, mounting the tripod here was kinda complicated. Because as you can see, you know, there is just this tiny path where the farmers walk, but you know, that's definitely not enough for a tripod. Anyway, it's time for sunset, so let's put away the vlogging camera and let's shoot. I can tell you that the weather here in Bali is kinda weird because usually the mornings are super nice then there are clouds for the vast majority of the day and then sunsets are like 50-50 it can be super cloudy, no colors whatsoever or there can be an amazing color blast so about the sunset, it has basically been kinda grayish for the whole time and I was like, oh you know, yeah, not a good sunset but then for like just the time for bracketing three exposures, boom this portion of sky over here, which is now gray became pink. Anyway, now it's finally time to eat something and sleep because tomorrow morning I'm gonna wake up super early to capture both this sunrise and the golden hour of the morning. So keep on watching and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Oh and by the way, let me know in the comments if you can hear the frogs in these fields. <laughs> and good morning. It's currently 6.30 a.m. and I'm about to go out to capture the golden hour. So I found the right spot here in front of the lobby, so let's mount everything and fly. Actually, this sky doesn't look that great, sadly. And you know, sometimes you just wake up for nothing. But anyway, the good news is that we are not gonna shoot towards the sunset, but we're gonna shoot towards here, towards the resort. So 
you know, from this side the sky is kinda nice, so let's keep our fingers crossed and let's put the bird in the air. I hope you guys like the pictures and the video from above. Anyway, now I'm back at the villa and my idea is to shoot this beautiful garden that you can see, the pool, and of course, the main building, which is the villa itself. So anyway, let's mount everything, but first I will actually have to do some cleaning <laughs> because basically there is a tree behind me that keeps losing many flowers and of course, I don't want, you know, dead flowers in my pictures. <laughs> anyway, let's do it and let's shoot. For this shot, I'm gonna use one of my favorite lenses for architectural shootings, which is the 24mm tilt shift lens. The reason is very simple. The tilt shift lenses allows you to do several things. One of those are maintaining the vertical lines and to shift, you know, the, the lens itself up and down or left to right. So what I'm gonna do is the following. As you can see behind me, I have this beautiful pool, the patio, and then the sky and some palm trees. So what I'm gonna do is taking three landscape shots one for the pool, one for the patio, and one for the sky, and then stitch them together in Photoshop. This will ensure a perfect stitch and a beautiful portrait image. Now time to step out from the resort and see one of the most incredible attractions that Ubud has to offer. It is called the Sacred Monkey Forest and as you can imagine there are gonna be quite some monkeys. I finally made it to the monkey forest. It was actually pretty funny because before entering there was a supermarket and basically there was a monkey there just at the exit waiting for people to give us or give him something. So let's step into the forest. incredibly humid and hot it's like unbreathable anyway as expected it is really really dark because as you saw it's full of trees so here the best bet it is to use a prime lens f1.8 or if you have a zoom lens it must be f2.8 otherwise you would have to crank up the iso and obviously lose image quality anyway here i am with one of my favorite portrait lenses the 85 mm f1.8 of course, this is not like a super fast lens in terms of uh, autofocus, but the monkeys here are pretty quiet, except when they fight. So right now we have some backlight of the sun on the right, and there is a monkey just there. So what I'm gonna do now it is to shoot some birds, hoping that it will turn my way, and hopefully it should create a very nice result. So let's do it. Please make sure to subscribe because every week I release a child photography video 
and what's coming next is really exciting so you don't want to miss it so thanks again for watching and i will see you guys in the next one